Lauren Johnson has been covering the story since the blaze began. Lauren, what do we know tonight? Michelle, it's a Thanksgiving no business owner would want. Behind me, it's hard to see now that it's dark, but these stores behind me, at least five of them, if not more, are a complete loss. Crews have been working on this holiday to try to figure out just what caused this blaze. And the most recent information comes from the Boise Fire Department a couple of hours ago that, hours ago that says that they ruled that the cause is undetermined. They've also said that the loss is estimated at at least $1 million. Take a look. It's just a terrible tragedy that happened here. Brandon Tabor lives near the Broadway Plaza Mall where the four alarm fires spread fast. Flames so high that hundreds gathered and watched while the strip mall burned. It was just intense. I've never seen anything like this in person. Seven businesses were damaged and five businesses are completely destroyed. My revenue, you know, that's going to take a lot of loss on me. So. I don't know. Roger Paglinawan owns the Hawaiian restaurant and a catering company in the strip mall at 2146 Broadway Avenue. My uh, ex-employee came knocking on my door and told me that Broadway, Broadway Plaza Mall is on fire. So uh, I got dressed and came down here. Roger says he's still waiting to hear exactly what kind of damage his restaurant has sustained and is worried. During this holiday, you know, I am expecting doing a lot of caterings and that ain't going to happen now. You really feel for them. You feel for these people that are, that are hardworking, that are hard at what they do. They try to make sure that everything is right, and then this happens. But on this Thanksgiving, if there's one thing to be grateful for, there were no injuries, despite people being inside the dominoes when the blaze broke out. It was a salon worker who first called to report the fire after 10 p.m. Crews quickly called for a second, third, and then fourth alarm and reported seeing flames up to 15 feet high. Witnesses saw the same thing. It was way higher than the building's roof, so it was scary looking. At some points, there was a big heat coming off the building, and I could tell everything. It was intense. It was a big, big disaster. My heart goes out for these people. We've been here for a couple of hours now, and since that time, we've had people coming and going throughout this parking lot, stopping, taking pictures. They've said, they've told us actually that they're mostly here because they're curious, but we did have the family of Domino's, the people that own Domino's did come, and they shared that uh, they do plan to rebuild. They can work here and they were assessing the damage. And again, the most recent information that we have comes from the Boise Fire Department. They have been working again on this holiday, trying to understand just what caused this fire, but the end result is that they're saying it has been ruled undetermined. We don't know what's caused this fire and that the estimated loss is now at over $1 million. In Boise, Lauren Johnson, today's six on your side.